Today I'm going to review Brodsky's trout eggs. Uh, it says balls of fire on here, but these are actually real trout eggs, they're not the uh, rubber eggs, which is a good thing because uh, <clears throat> if you're like me, you don't really harvest any fish. Uh, I usually have to buy spawn. Uh, I get it from places online. So I was able to order these. These are somewhat new. Uh, I got these a couple of weeks ago. I just haven't been able to do anything do anything with them. Uh, there's two types. You have the premium and you have the natural. The premium being um, basically what it what it's labeled as. It's uh, they pick through it. They made sure that they're um, not perfect, I guess. Uh, but there's according to their site, there's no refrigeration necessary. Uh, they're not cured. They're just preserved. I don't know what they use, uh, but these these look amazing. Uh, that's an eight ounce container, and according to their website, you can get about 125 small bags out of these. Um, they do not come from wild or stocked water, so I'm assuming it's a trout hatchery they have access to. And then they also have the natural ones. The natural ones being a totally different color. Uh, you can see a lot of white eggs in there as well. And they come with the liquid, I'm assuming that's what they use to preserve them. So this is the uh, the liquid, and this here, excuse me, this is the natural. Uh, I'm going, I, I am going to be um, curing these with uh, either Bar Exofire or I use uh, Atlas uh, Bright and Tight. It's, it's a liquid cure, cure, dye, and scent. And the eggs come out great. Uh, it takes about two, three days. You rotate them around, they throw some in the liquid. They release and reabsorb and they, they come out pretty nice and then I'll use uh, something else to add on to my cure for them. But once again, these are 100% real eggs. Uh, they're, I think they're just here for a limited time because of, well, they just are. Uh, and that's it, that's all I have. So hopefully you guys uh, learned something or saw a new product. Uh, also, I wouldn't put these as single eggs on a hook, kind of like with all cured eggs, they will pop. Um, if you're going to use single eggs, go with a hard bead or a soft bead. Um, they do smell like fresh fish eggs, so I mean, they, there's no scent to them whatsoever. So if you want to fish these as is, you're more than welcome to. You don't have to cure them at all. Um, I wouldn't suggest freezing them. because they might pop. Uh, other than that, for a $1 difference, I would definitely go with the premium uh, over the natural because of the way that they look and for a dollar, it's definitely worth it. Um, so, hopefully within the next couple weeks, I'll be able to try these during our uh, trout season, which is in roughly 30 some odd days. And then the steelhead run, which is going on right now, but if you guys like the video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and that's all. I hope you guys have a great day.